As misinformation about the coronavirus spreads as quickly as the virus itself, two of the world's most esteemed virologists contacted the BBC to educate the public with research-based causes and treatments. Joining us now are Drs. Derek Thickcott of the University of Oxford, well known for his uh, research in a ratification of booty cooties, as well as Dr. Derek Greenhog from the University of Cambridge, who's well known for his research in regards to penis enlargement in frogs. Pleasure to be with you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Gentlemen, uh, I'm sure if you're anything like me, you've spent the past two weeks washing your hands as though you've been finger badgering cockeyed birds down by yes. the canal all evening. Mm -hmm. Yes. And here we are. That's correct. Two hands deep in the stream, pebbles between them, a wash in goose cum. It's an ugly sight. And Dr. Thickcott, how are you today? I'm well. Uh, I've, I've mostly been keeping my immunity boosted uh, with uh, irregular uh, ejaculate patterns. Uh, I have found in uh, early research that if you're able to um, keep yourself and your penis from succumbing to ejaculate, uh, you will build immunity. Now, I have no proof it's anecdotal at this point, and for the most part, it's been horrible. But, you know, that's, uh, that's research for you. We're all managing, doctors. Yeah. Uh, first off, doctors, I'd, I'd like to ask uh, your opinion on where are authorities going wrong? Dr. Thickcutt? Uh, authorities, I think, um, you know, for the most part, um, I think it's an, is it's an issue with not, uh, basically, we need to talk about the fat nurse problem, in my opinion. And I think that, um, you know, we, we definitely have a fat nurse problem, and that needs to be mitigated. I mean, there's too many fat nurses, which is leading to too much complaining. And the complaining is making the healthcare system worse. Basically, the, the, the fat nurses complaining are putting a strain on the patients and the healthcare system. Fascinating. So to be clear, doctor, it yes. isn't the human-human contact, but rather yes. the gargantuan bescrubbed chair squeakers in the medical system that are causing this virus to spread. Yes, it's fat nurses are the problem, and it's the reason this is getting out of control, and we need to slow the spread. If, 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 I may, if, I, if I may, if I may interject, uh, if I understand my colleague correctly, he's telling me that we have an overabundance of fat nurses and the, the drain they place on the NHS and other governmental systems is simply uh, drowning out any sort of uh, effective response to the coronavirus. And I think that there's just there's just nothing to back up what he's saying whatsoever. This is completely anecdotal. Uh, if anything, I believe the numbers suggest that we need an increase in fat nurses. Uh, that we, is that is absolutely. I'm sorry to interrupt, but that is absolutely mental. Uh, I, doctor, I understand it's been a long time since you've been permitted to practice, but I can tell you, uh, being on the ground, uh, although serving a uh, four-year uh, de-licensing suspension, uh, I can tell you myself the amount of complaining fat nurses are doing frees up some of the thinner, more attractive nurses to handle patients in a more timely manner. And I, I think Ed, uh, any doctor worth his uh, salt will uh, back that up. Absolute, abso absolutely not. Absolutely not. I think the problem with the fat nurses is if we keep them around and they keep practicing uh, their medicine, what will happen is they will spread the complaining to the uh, you know thinner, more attractive nurses. And now you have thin, attractive nurses complaining. And once that happens, it gets out of control and almost every patient wants to kill themselves. There's absolutely no clinical evidence supporting the idea of nurse-to-nurse -nurse complaint transmission. The yes, numbers are not there. The science does not back up the claim. If uh, anything, we need more fat nurses. Uh, more fat nurses. That is, I mean, uh, is someone going to step in here? That's absolutely insane. More fat nurses. The, the, the data may be anecdotal, but it's there. It's that's what data. Dr. Doctor, Doctor, if, if I may inter interject for a moment, um, what we can all probably agree upon is that nurses are in fact getting fatter during this pandemic. I, I, yes. I have the research right here. It says that, that many fat nurses are lining the insides of their surgical masks with, with the sort of jellies and jams and puddings. Yes. Small step in the right direction, as far as you, if you ask me. 
That is, I mean, absolutely. Ma First of all, I, 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 to your point about data, it's Dr. Eli Ballington in France, he found that the more fat nurses in his hospitals resulted in more suicides amongst patients. Now, you have people dying from coronavirus, from dying from, uh, you know, a cancer, and now you have people blowing their fucking brains out because they can't stand the complaining. Now, you know, I, 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 I have a suggestion for mitigation, and that is to put the fat nurses on the highest floor of the hospital and not allow them access to elevators. That way they have to take the stairs and hopefully in four months, we see a decrease in the amount of fat nurses in the hospitals and an increase in proper patient care and, and you know, a, a decrease in complaining as well. That's my solution. Put them on the top floor or, you know, you, get, you can't get rid of them completely because it will be considered amoral. And I'm sure my, uh, you know, my, my friend here will uh, complain about that as well. Well, D D Dr. Thickart, to your point, uh, perhaps doctors and hospitals can, can take the lead here and perhaps place the charts further across the room to yes. e e extend the number of steps that nurses may have to take to access it, keeping yes. them away from patients. Yes, ex exactly right. We need, to, we need to control the situation. We need to um, flatten the curves. And or flatten the curve to Dr. Greenhawk's point. Correct. Uh, this, this hogwash, hogwash. I would call it putting fat nurses on higher floors. Number one, the patients on the higher floors will suffer as the, these nurses are known to take breaks. If you put them in any sort of enclosed stairwell, it becomes a fifteen-minute cell phone break. Looking at just the most inane content imaginable. Not to mention vape pens. Not setting off smoke detectors. They've got nothing but. Uh, opportunities to drag their feet uh, and to complain to their other fat nurse friends. You're, you're exacerbating the issue and not treating it. And all this, I've, what we're doing now is sorry, we're, we're circling around the issue without ever looking directly at it. And the, the issue remains. The more we discourage fat nurses from practicing, from bothering patients, from showing up at families' bedsides and bothering them at different hospitals, the worse we handle uh, epidemics, uh, especially with how much of a resource of knowledge these fatnesses are to their own families. I, 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 I mean, that is, that is absolutely, I mean, I've said it once before and I, don't, I, I think it bears repeating. It's absolutely mental to think that we need fat nurses in the hospital. What they are, what they are doing is, is causing such a strain. I mean, uh, think about uh, th there's a hospital in, um, in, in uh, now Singapore, you see a very low incidence of deaths. And why is that? You know, uh, good luck finding a fat woman in Singapore, you know, unless it's, you know, unless you're combing the bottom of a lake. Uh, with all due respect, respect, doctor, it seems to me that you are turning a correlation into a causation and it's yes. simply not the case. Well, uh, not. We've seen, we've seen hospitals try putting fat nurse parking spots further from the entrance with no yes. effect whatsoever. If it only increases parking fines for some of these pigs. It, 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 is, it is early, early in the testing. Now, uh, <laughs> it's early in the testing. So, uh, you know, you can't, you can't, you, 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 you cannot say that the evidence is totally, um, uh, you know, not based in reality when we haven't even seen the effects. I mean, the cases are surging, the people are coming in, and all you can hear from outside is, you know, ring tones and ahs and yes and ahs, and they're all coming from fat nurses inside the hospital. You've got screams coming from patients, and outside the hospital, you've got moans coming from fat nurses. And uh, you know, it, to, to say that this is not creating a significant problem is uh is, is is absolutely the 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 uh, the ramblings of uh, I mean I, I hate to say it uh, someone with a much less education than yourself, doctors. We, we know that that misinformation about the virus itself is causing significant issues throughout the world. But is there specific information that fat nurses are perpetuating on Facebook that may help flatten this curve, or maybe exacerbating the problem? If you ask me, one of the greatest uh, assets we have combating a global epidemic is uh, the information shared via fat nurses posting mignon memes. 
uh, without <coughs> with, without Facebook and Instagram posts starting with everyone knows that one nurse who uh, unfortunately I think we wouldn't see much information disseminated at all uh, and if if I may allow me to paint you a picture dr. Thicken. Uh you are uh, a practicing physician working in a hospital making yes. your rounds you come across you come upon a nurse's station and standing at this nurse's station are two very attractive very fit nurses yes on a good day be honest yes. how much time does that add to your rounds uh I would say now, 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 I understand what you're saying, and you're basically painting me into a corner to say that the erectile response I'm having from a, from a <laughs> I'm sorry, I was thinking about a meme I saw earlier of a of a tiny child riding his Vespa into a into the front window of the cafe, and everyone going ah. Oh yes. Sensible, yeah. sensible humor, sensible humor. Now, 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 uh, what you're saying is you're saying I will be distracted sexually from the, 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 the other nurses. Now, that is assuming that I don't like fat nurses sexually. I would say it's the opposite. I'd say I, I essentially oscillate between the two of them depending on my mood. Now, granted, if I do come upon an attractive nurse and that changes my posture, uh, that I, I would imagine that increases my productivity and also helps me uh, do my rounds now granted i i am not allowed to practice due to a prostitutionary uh, uh indiscretion of last yeah. year but uh, i will say that um it, you know uh, it, it, that that's irrelevant that's irrelevant i would like that scratched i would like my answer scratched and start over if you're watching this you know ignore what i said i do not get erections from nurses i, I am a total professional i wait till i get home <laughs> You know, moving on. Dr. Greenhog, if I will, uh, in regards to, you, to your comment about fat nurses being utterly obsessed with minion memes, is there a correlation between fat nurses loving minion memes and the initial thought that a fat nurse may have after eating an entire pizza at the nurse's station being, ugh, despicable me? But, I mean, that first, first, first let me 